Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd do a quick flip through um, and discussion about my first full week in my Hobonichi Weeks for 2022. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Hobonichi Weeks, unlike the Hobonichi Cousin, uh, the week starts in December of the previous year. So lucky for me, I get to play around for a month before I move into 2022. Uh, so in a previous video, I'm going to link it up above just in case you're interested. I did a very quick discussion about um, the last three days in November. I was just too excited to get into this planner and test it out. So towards the back of my book, um, I, I decided to set up my own spread, but it was only for three days. And I absolutely love it. Uh, but for today's video, we're just going to talk about November 29th to December 5th. Uh, so I basically broke... Um, this two-page spread for the week into four columns and the first column on the left uh, as you can see I have noted as four appointments uh, basically the major events in a day any meetings that I have scheduled birthdays um, everything goes here I've also kind of like included things like my online orders uh, in that column and then the second column is my to-do list my daily to-do list and as you can see it kind of um, I guess, evolved as the week went along. I first started off with my zig dot marker up here, which did work, but I didn't like like it that much. Uh, then I reverted to my um, bullet journal key, um, like the normal symbols of the box for a task here. And then by the time I got to Wednesday, I realized this was kind of silly, right? Because I recently bought so many stencils from Jet Pens, the Hobonichi stencils. And my favorite one, I think it was the basic, includes a stencil for check boxes. Um, that's definitely my favorite stencil thus far because of the check boxes. And that's what I used from Wednesday into Sunday. So you can see that here. It's been working out great. In the beginning, I was a little nervous about being able to fit all of my daily tasks into this tiny space. So I purposely um, drew a line in pencil down the center so that I can do five on either side. But it actually ended up that I don't really need more than five bullets in a day because anything in excess of the smaller detailed tasks here ended up going to my weekly task list to the right. So this worked out really great for me. Um, these were just stickers that I created myself. I actually drew them in Procreate and brought them into Cricut Design Space, design space and then um, used the print and cut function for that. And then uh, I'm also loving the fact that I carried the grid washi tape uh, based on the color through my weeks in December. So you can see the next week is already set up as well. And then this third column here, I decided to use, um, at least this week, for tracking weather. So for example, I just drew a cloud and sun because it's really been like cloudy, sunny days. Um, and the temperature, I'll be really honest with you, I haven't been very good with checking the weather on a daily basis. So you can see that um, the temperature is missing on like half of the days. Um, and this kitty, he's just there to uh, cover up a mistake in my sketching. So I was playing around with uh, the stencils that I was mentioning before. So if you'd like to see a video on all the different stencils that I got, um, I'll just link it up top there. And this is one of them, the Little Umbrella. I really like that one. One, I, one that I don't love was this paper clip. <laughs> As you can see, it looks a little wonky, um, but it's so cute. And um, yeah, so in addition to that, this column for this week, I use to track my meals. Um, I'm trying to, I guess, get a better idea of how often we eat out, eat out and I eat out pretty often. <laughs> Um, but the problem I found with tracking my meals in the weeks is that there's just not enough space to include details. So for example, I had steak, eggs, and hash browns, but I couldn't fit it here um, for that day, especially since I like to put the breakfast, lunch, dinner um, notation down, I guess, before that day or at the beginning of each day. So I think I'm going to move this solely to my cousin because there's just so much more space and... Um, yeah, I mean, there's just, I need to fill space in that one and just not enough here. So I'm not really sure what I will use this column for. I really do like having it there and I really do like tracking the weather. Um, so I will, I did carry this into the following week. Um, 
other than that, that leaves us with this last column, which basically is the weekly to-do list, which I've been loving. Um, I use this black washi to cover up uh, some of my handwriting, like my lettering that I wasn't really happy with. So in the following weeks, I will have more space, as you can see in the next week. I do have a little bit more space for a few more tasks, which I think are going to come in really handy. I think really that's all I needed. And this tiny space for journaling. Um, and then lastly, my weekly tracker, which I have chosen to track hydration, so how much water I'm drinking, reading, and filming. Um, I think the last one might change over time, but this is my motivation to do the things that I want to do in a week. And um, so you'll see, I set up the next week. I'll walk through really quick. Um, I basically went in and just used my, I think this was the Archer and Olive Kaleograph pens, what I, which I absolutely love. Um, just to color this sidebar in the days, uh, the dates. I actually don't have any appointments, but um, to be honest, when I set up the previous week, I didn't have any appointments either or events. So I'm sure this will fill up as the week goes on. And I just used my stencil to fill in these check boxes. I really like moving them um, back and forth. So it's not just like a bunch of empty space here on the right side, as you can see uh, happened over here and a little bit over here as well. Um, and then I do have this column to track weather, and I, I totally ditched the idea of um, the meals in my weeks. And then this is, like I said, the weekly to-do list, a little spot for journaling, and then my habit tracker. Um, so that concludes my first into the second week of December. I do want to give you a quick glimpse of a few of the uh, notes pages that I've been working on and trackers. So. I think I'll jump into um, the bills and credit card tracker because I probably won't be able to share that in the future because it'll um, include, I guess, some personal sensitive information. So I did set it up this past week. It's very simple. I put it up in the back and I'm also planning on adding an expense tracker in here. So I guess once I set that one up, I will do a quick flip through of that. Um, I have the bills on the left and basically these are uh, my monthly reoccurring bills. Some of them are quarterly. So for example, water bill is quarterly. So I just use my Tombow, do Tombow, Tombow dual brush pen, I'm so sorry, uh, to, to highlight the quarters and like the months that those quarterly bills are due. Uh, home insurance, property tax, gas and electric is included in there as well. Um, and then I also have a spread for my credit card bills. And it's basically the month starting in December of 2021 into December of 2022. And basically what I have covered here is just information like which credit card um, down this column and then also next to it, the day of the month that that credit card bill is due. And um, we'll see how this works out. All right, and then, so I do also have a video of uh, how I set up the first four I guess spreads in my notes section. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll just link it up there. And then my newest two spreads within the notes section um, is just a tracker for my videos, uh, my YouTube videos. Basically, you know, I just throughout the day, I just randomly have ideas of what type of videos I want to film and post. So in this section, I am, I just have it written down like a checkbox here using my zig dot marker. Um, I have a section for November and into December, uh, the name and like a general description, the day I filmed it and the day I post it. Some of these I film and it never makes it to YouTube. So I'll probably just use my bullet journal uh, notation of crossing it out and putting a line through it to cancel it. Um, so you will see that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is where I kind of brain dump some of my video ideas. I just use my Tombow dual brush pen here and some um, stickers I created. Once again, I designed appropriate and printed on my Cricut. Uh, sorry, print and cut on my Cricut. And then the next one is just for my stickers. Once again, just very simple brain dump. Um, of ideas of the type of stickers I like to create. So for example, um, I saw that these words um, are commonly used in planning such as like this week, 
important appointment due, paid, etc. Uh, to do. And so I take those <laughs> notes and I turn them into stickers like I did here using my Cricut machine. But yeah, so that uh, basically wraps up my first in, first week into the second week in December of my Hobonichi weeks uh, for 2022, but actually in 2021. Um, if you like this video, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and until next time guys, see ya!